Hi everyone, it's Sonia from Angel Eye Healing here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your general angel card reading for today, Thursday the 22nd of August. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead and selected the cards for you to be interpreted. If you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angelighthealing at outlook.com and all the details are in the description box below. Thank you so much for those of you who have already subscribed to my channel, liked, commented and shared my videos. If you haven't done so yet, please go ahead and subscribe. So guys, today is the 22nd of August, which is the last day in this Leo season or this Leo energy as tomorrow we enter into the Virgo energy. So yeah, there's been a lot happening during this Leo season, a lot of emotional, um, you know, ups and downs and we had the Mercury retrograde, we had the Lion's portal, so a lot of manifestation as well. All right, so with this reading, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's get started. The first three cards are from the messages from your angels. And the first card here is Rochelle. As you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity comes to you now. Okay, so as you can see with this card, it is the color of, um, I see it as olive, okay? So for some of you, this may be you extending the olive branch to, um, to another person you've had difficulty with. And this is definitely to do around love because it involves um, your heart, okay? So for some of you, you may be struggling with your head, your heart, or your gut. They're saying to you here, it's important that you follow your own internal guidance, your intuition, your heart, and your gut, because that is what is right. With your head, it tends to, um, you know, get confused, too much information, too much, um, you know, overwhelming emotions here that can really play on your mind. Okay, so they're saying here it's important that you follow what's in your heart when it comes to, especially when it comes to making decisions that are, you know, really going to affect your life. So the um, ducks in this card that you may see at the bottom there, they represent you going with the flow. So don't resist or be non-resistant here. Just go with the flow and listen to your heart along the way. Okay. The next card is, look at that, similar color. There's a lot of green happening here is Archangel Uriel. So your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. This beautiful Archangel is helping you to heal your emotions, okay, whether they're stored in your heart or whether they're stored in your mind. So um, I feel like um, a lot of you may be in need of a healing, and if you are, seek a qualified healer who you were drawn to. As you know, I'm a healer as well. I'm an intuitive healer and a Reiki practitioner. So if you're interested in a healing or a distant healing, get in contact with me. But they're saying here that um, there's pent up emotions that you know have been suppressed, that you haven't um, dealt with. So these emotions have resurfaced for you. This could be in regards to a relationship. This could be in regards to a job, a situation, the family, the home, children. Um, but they're saying here that there's a lot of stuff that you're holding on to that you really need to release and let go, okay? Because it's not doing you or your being any good, okay? So it's important that you have a healthy mind, a healthy heart, um, a healthy being, spiritually, physically, and emotionally here. So work with this archangel who's trying to help you to release this. Okay, guys, the next card is Patience. It's a beautiful orange card. Firstly, orange does represent, again, your gut, your sacral chakra. So this is about you being intuitive. And again, this is about you trusting your own internal guidance here. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. So with this card, um, they're saying here that now is not the time to force things to happen. Now's not the time to rush ahead, to try and control a situation. They're saying to you, all your hard work is going to pay off. Okay, just have patience. And more than anything, have faith and trust in the universe, that the universe does have your back. Everything does happen in divine timing, whether this is with a relationship, whether you've been, yeah, waiting for that perfect partner, your twin flame, uh, whether you've been waiting for that promotion or, you know, starting your own job here. Um, your own business perhaps, your patience will pay off, 
Okay, so now's the time to get all the information that you need, whether this is intuitively, again, your gut, you working on yourself, but also there's light in this card, which does represent um, divine guidance too. Okay, so very um, important that you're listening and paying attention to the signs as well that the universe has given you. For some of you, you're going to be, um, sorry about the glare guys, you're going to be facing your emotions just like this angel is. She's facing the ocean there. For some of you, um, being near the water is very cleansing and soothing for your soul. So if that's where you find your clarity, be out in nature, then be near the water. Okay. Next two cards are from the crystal angels and the first card we have is lapis lazuli i love this crystal it's actually a beautiful um like a blue exactly like this color like a blue purple crystal they're saying life-changing epiphany or experience it's a good time or it's a time of big and blessed change for you and god is supporting you each step of the way okay so this card is saying that there are changes coming again your patience is going to pay off here Lapis Lazuli is also helping you to clear um, any internal battles here. See this big sword? The sword, when I see the sword, it does represent a battle. Now, this card is like a blue-purple. Blue does represent emotions. It represents your throat chakra as well. For some of you, you've been struggling because that mountain represents a struggle. You've been struggling with speaking your truth okay, to someone. Or perhaps you've spoken your truth and you feel like you're going through an internal battle because the response is not what you expected. However, keep moving forward, okay, fearlessly and confidently because the steps that you're taking um, are leading towards this massive change that's coming to you. So no more battle, all right? You've got a fire energy here. It could also be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's a fiery energy. This is about you following your passions, okay? The next card. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. Yes, a positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Yeah, guys, don't allow um, other people, their opinions, negativity um, to get in the way of you achieving what it is that you want, your goals. When I see pink, it all represents self-love here and love and romance. So if that's something that you want to manifest, then don't um, put a negative on it, negative spin send loving thoughts towards that person, okay, and yourself. So stay strong in your faith, okay, and trust again in the universe that you are being well provided for, all right? Now the next three cards are from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. Alchemy, yeah, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. So this is exciting. This is that blessed change that you've been wanting. If this is the start of a new idea that's growing and forming into a business, then it's going to be abundant. Um, you're going to prosper. You're going to grow. If it's a relationship that you've been wanting, again, this will prosper and it will, you know, um, manifest into reality here. Whatever it is that you set your mind to, you're going to create. Okay, so ensure again that they are positive, all right, and that, um, yeah, you just go go for your dreams and goals here. Now the next card, let's see. Contemplation time, spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. So for some of you, you're really thinking here. You're spending time, um, yeah, in meditation perhaps, or you're spending time out in nature, I feel like if it's in regards to relationship, then someone's definitely on your mind, but I feel like you're on their mind too, okay? So you've got this beautiful red, um, I call it a parrot. I'm not sure what the real name is, but I see it as a parrot. It is a type of bird, but red could also represent um, not allowing the negativity to get you know, into your psyche here into your um, imagination because that will have an effect on you. Again, ensure the positive mindset, okay? So you need to spend time alone to gather your thoughts. You need to spend time alone to clear your mind. This is what you need right now to manifest what it is that you truly want. The next card, break free. Try different ventures and experiences as a way to grow and learn. So is this the idea you've been thinking about? Is this the next step that you need to take? Perhaps you've been feeling a little scared because 
you're unsure whether it will be well, well received or whether you know you've done all your um all your research here and um this could be definitely trying something new different job it could also be um you know stepping out of your comfort zone doing some learning something new it could be teaching it could be um steering in a different direction altogether than what you've been used to so for some of you you could have been in an office shop for so long and you're going to get out and you're going to become a personal trainer for example so again just take it how how it applies for others of you you've been wanting to break free out of a situation here it could definitely be a relationship okay you've been wanting to just get out and every time i see this card it reminds me of queen i want to break free Okay, God knows I want to break free. So you've been doing a lot of uh, praying here, meditating, that you just, you know, you want to get out of this situation and you've asked for help. And just like this dolphin, you're going to, um, you know, release this burden, rise above your emotions here and just break free. So I feel like for some of you, nothing is, it, you've got nothing, for, for all of you, you've got nothing holding you back but yourself. Okay, the next card is from Archangel Oracle. Look at that, beautiful. A leap of faith, take a risk. Yes, like I said, put your, and put your heart's true desire into action. Okay, once you've done all your research, you've got everything that you need, you feel comfortable, um, everything you touch turns to gold. Look at that, take that leap of faith. What is it that you wanna try? Do it. Is it working on a new goal of health here? Is it to do with exercise? Is it to do with building your confidence again? Um, public speaking, uh, trying something creative, you know, music writing, singing, dancing. What is it? What is it that you are going to be taking a leap with here? You are divinely protected, okay? The next cards are from the Butterfly Oracles. Let's see. Be true to you, exactly. Why would you change yourself to fit in another person's world? Don't do that. Be true to who you are. You are unique for a reason. God, the universe, they made you this way for a reason. You've been created to be yourself, okay, to, um, you know, to test the boundaries, to explore your options, to um, see what's out there, you know, for you. What suits you? What suits your life's purpose, okay? What is it that you want to create? When I see butterflies, it does represent change and transformation. Oh, look at that. I'll put, them, I'll put them there together. Welcome the new. Okay, definitely a new beginning coming here, guys. I love that. There is a new start. It could be a reignited passion in an existing relationship. It could also be a start of a new relationship, whether it is sexual or a business-related relationship. Um, there could be a new start in a job, there could be a new start in a business, um, you know, take it how it applies. Um, be your true authentic self though. Again, don't try and fit into someone else's world. This is, you know, this is your time to take that leap of faith. Romance, okay, what are the two cards for romance angels? Let's see. Okay, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. There is chemistry. So you do share chemistry with someone, and I believe you know who this person is. For some of you, it is your twin flame. You could already be in this relationship with this person, but just know if you've been questioning it, don't, because there is definitely chemistry here. Okay. And trust. This is, situation calls for you to have faith, yes. So in regards to romance, have trust and faith that you are on the right path, that, you know, definitely that you're following and listening to your heart, guys, not your head. Again, your head can really steer you off your path. It's important that you always come from a place of love. And even when it hurts, even when you're in that pit, you know, that darkness, you will see the light and you'll rise above it. Okay, trust that you are supported, that you're guided, and you are being helped from the other side. Okay, so the last card, as you know, with my readings is from the Heart and Soul. And look at that beautiful card there. All right, look at the, look at that female energy. Look at the eye. Wow. All right, the message is 
Tune out of your thoughts and into your heart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Everything you are looking for really is inside you. Look within, keep an open heart and mind, and then follow your intuition. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge. Your inner vision has a magnetic quality that draws everything you need closer to you. Yes. So again, listen to your heart. I just heard Roxette then. Listen to your heart when he's calling for you. So this could definitely be in regards to a relationship. Listen to your heart. Okay. So what are the numbers for today? Let's see. The dice. Shaking really good. Let's see. What's the card? There we go. Okay. Three and a one. It's the number four. So four can represent the month of April. It can represent the fourth day of a month. Um, I just heard 4th of July. So for those of you in America, this is definitely a symbolic day for you. Perhaps something happened on this day that's symbolic for you um, in regards to relationships or, you know, matters of the heart. Um, but 4, again, can definitely be the month of April. I think that's Aries um, energy there, so fiery energy. Um, perhaps 4 is your house number. Add up all the numbers, see what you get. All right, but yes, four. It could be um, also one person and three children. So it could be a single parent here having to, you know, look after three children. Um, it could also be a third party situation here as well. All right. So that is your general angel card reading for today. So thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you are after your own personal reading or a twin flame reading, get in contact with me at angelighthealing at outlook.com. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. And many angel blessings to you all.